Hi everyone, welcome back to Raw Online. Today we will see about drug and toxin induced hepatitis and also about autoimmune hepatitis. So, in the previous class we saw about the important infection of the liver, the viral hepatitis. Today we will see about drug and toxin induced hepatitis. So, hepatotoxicity is as such it means damage to the liver. Hepatotoxin is the chemical that can cause liver injury. It can be drugs and medications which mostly in overdoses will produce liver damage. Sometimes within the therapeutic ranges also the drugs can cause liver injury. It hepatotoxic drugs also includes the chemicals which are used in the laboratories and the industries. Some natural chemicals like microcystins and of late people go in for natural herbal remedies which we do not know what are the compositions. They are very notorious in producing hepatotoxicity. This drug induced liver injury it is the major cause of acute liver failure constituting about 50 percent and it is also the major cause of morbidity and mortality with only 20 percent of survival rate of this 10 percent of drug induced liver injury they require liver transplantation and the 17 percent have to live through their life with chronic liver disease. So, these are the this slide shows the causes of acute liver failure. So, drugs of which paracetamol which is the over the counter drug, halothane, anti tuberculous drugs and other herbal remedies. Viral infections are the other major cause of acute liver failure which we have seen in detail. Miscellaneous causes includes metabolic liver diseases, acute fatty liver shock, congestive heart failure etc. Poison we have the amanite of alloys and cryptogenic non A non B viral hepatitis. So, this drug induced acute liver failure is one of the important constituent. The drug induced liver injury can occur immediately after exposure to the drug or it can occur a few weeks or months afterwards. It is because of the reactive metabolites which are generated in the liver. Cytochrome P450 is the major enzyme which is more active in the central zone of the lobule. So, we know of the normal histology of the liver which has the asini, the lobule and the central vein and we have three zones. This cytochrome P450 is more active in the central zone of the lobule and so this DILI, the drug induced liver injury is more commonly starting in the necrosis of the perivenular hepatocytes. Enzyme inducers add on to the increased toxicity of other drugs also like rifampicin, phenytoin, isoniazide, alcohol and tobacco smoking. So, there are certain factors which affect drug induced hepatotoxicity. The drug may as such produce toxicity to the liver and certain factors may add on to the increased toxicity of the drug or the chemical. It is age and gender of the patient, genetic factors, the dosage and the duration of how long the drug is being given to the patient, coexistent kidney damage or alcohol and cigarette smoking as the personal habit to the patient, drug to drug interactions and diseases such as HIV, Hepatitis C, Rheumatoid Arthritis and Lupus Erythematosus, Obesity and Nutritional Status of the 